Amen. Well, Crystal's got. You ready? Whisper, whisper over there. Good. All right. Crystal's got a couple things she wants to speak about before she gets baptized. And um, so if we could just be quiet and listen to her because she doesn't talk real loud. And I, I know that this is going to be awesome. And I would just encourage you to listen to what Crystal's got to say because I, I am so humbled to baptize Crystal because she's, such, she's such, just such a good person. And I just wanted to say that. So go ahead. I don't know if I can do this if I'm trying, but um, God has really done amazing things lately. Um, I feel like I have like overcome one of my biggest battles this last week. Like, I've really been going through some things. I've suffered through depression. And Pastor Bob last week, um, after service, came up to me and said, like, after, like, the whole time he was planning his message, that he could just see me. Um, and I did have a broken heart. I was broken hearted and like, I really struggled with it and struggled with it and I never felt loved. I never really knew what love was. And that Saturday, I came into work early because I just felt like everything was falling apart and I came in and asked if I could go pray and I prayed for like two hours <laughs> and like I just cried out to God I was like I have never felt this alone Lord I can't do it I just wanted to give up And I'm like, Lord, I don't know what love is. How can you call me to love when I don't know what it is? Yeah. And God showed me what love is. People prayed with me that day. People just embraced me. People just showed me that they care. <laughs> to him and Monday he told me to look up love so I looked it up and I read that <coughs> and there was scriptures that I had marked on that page and they really popped out at me and these were the scriptures it said um, John 14 1 let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me 14 18 I will not leave you comfortless I will come to you 14 26 through 27 but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost whom the Father will send in my name he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you peace I leave with you my peace I give unto you not as the world giveth I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And the whole time I was praying Saturday, I felt like I was in a tug of war between Satan and Jesus. And I could just see it in my head, see them fighting over me. And then Wednesday, I watched a movie. And I could feel Jesus just wrap his arms around me and tell you, I did this for you. I love you. 
you are mine. And that just completely <laughs> changed me. I, I have felt much lighter, mm -hmm. much um, freer. Yes. Yes. And I'm just so amazed at how God showed me his love and it's just amazing. Amen. And I want to thank you all for being there for me and just showing me all that. You want to say? That was great. Good. <laughs> that was um, you believe that Jesus Christ died on a cross for your sin, and the reason that you're do the, doing this is just to have a bigger, deeper, better experience with the Lord than you've already had in the last couple of days, because that's what He wants to do with you. And, uh, that's what He wants to do with all of us, is just give us that experience. And uh, All this is is just saying, I want to wash my sins away in this water. And get up as clean as I possibly can. That's the way I look at it. That's my paraphrase. Para paraphrase? That's my paraphrase version. So. Okay. So you want to hold your nose? Yes. Okay. I'm, can I have this hand so I can pull you straight back up? Okay. I'm just going to go one, two, three, and then I'm going to pull you straight back up. Okay. Amazing Grace, and I'm not going to start us off because it won't sound very good. <laughs> somebody lead us off. Uh, somebody who's got a good voice. Go ahead, Tara, lead us off. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound awesome service. Lord God, I just thank you for an incredible <coughs> night with you. I thank you for Crystal, Lord God. Yeah, I thank you, Lord good. God, that uh, you've just done some awesome things with inside of her. I ask that you continue to do that. I thank you for each person at this church, and I thank you, Lord God, that you're continuing to uh, make and mold us. And I just thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. You guys are dismissed. Yeah.